oh boy, the first kill here. Literally the first kill. Palm tree seed, golden beam straight away. But anyways, guys, oh my days, we just got rune bar. Is this one good? 46 rune bar drop? How much is that worth? These are decent money. 642k, that's like the fifth kill. But anyway, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So like I said in the last episode, I am going to be kicking this one off with level 55 invention, which I am very close to getting now. I think we have around 2k XP left on the leggings. That was about 2.5k when I last checked, so probably around 2k until we can uh, get that 540k XP drop and uh, level 55. So I thought I'd just record the golden beams at the beginning just to show you guys the money I'm making. It's kind of nice right now because obviously so many people each day are getting level 99 and it means, you know, even less people are going to be fighting over kills for and, you know, come into the same place as me. So I uh, apologise again, this video will probably have a bunch of invention and PVM. The amount of XP you need for 99 is so much more than normal, it's like triple. So I just need to try my best really to try and work on it to get 99. If you can hear any banging during the video next door are doing like some construction or I don't know, something else. I don't really know what they're doing over there, but it's kind of annoying, so if you can hear it, I do apologise, but trust me, it's just as annoying for me, having to sit here all day listening to that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, uh, 99 is going to take not that long, because obviously everyone's getting it, but I'm not going to get it anytime soon if I don't train it, so I will try and just record the levels or any, you know, relevant information, I guess, um, just so it's not too boring or repetitive for you guys, because I... I'm sure you've probably heard it or seen it all before anyway, so I'll try my best just to keep it relevant, but I'll see you guys in a bit with uh, level 55. Alright, so there we go. Our leggings are now level 10, so let's go ahead, take those off and, uh, well, disassemble those for a nice lump of XP. Here we go. 540k. I'm waiting for this to get nerfed because... You know, anyone of any level can get the same amount of XP, and I reckon they're going to try and change that, but hopefully they don't. But either way, guys, there we go for level 55, which is quite a nice level to have, and we are currently sitting on 3.1 mil XP, so it's quite nice the way the skill is done. I feel like right now, this is how the skill should have been released. Doing it through combat is definitely a lot more fun, so I will now go ahead and grab myself a new pair of leggings, and the next item to level up to 10, I think, is the poncho. It is level 8. Okay, so not too long to go on that one. And uh, then we can go ahead and hopefully get another few levels. Alright, so we've got a golden beam for coal. Let's have a look and see how much we got. 952. Damn, how much is that worth? Let's have a look. Um, that is worth 360k. Okay, so not as much as I thought, but still, that is a... Nice drop to add to the collection. Unfortunately, the palm tree seeds are crashing right now. Well, not crashing, but they've decreased 5k since yesterday. Um, so shortly, I think straight after I get level 10 on my leggings, which are very close to now, um, they're already past like halfway level 9. Um, so yeah, when they're level 10 and I get the XP from those, I'm hoping for level 57 um, as a minimum. So if I get that, I'll be happy. But yeah, once I have the level, I'll probably go to the bank and just sell all of my seeds that I have so far because I have over a mil worth and I'd rather make over a mil before they decrease even more in price. So all right, so we've just hit our second 20 million XP skill. I don't exactly know what it is. Ah, there we go, it's magic. So yeah, pretty much dead on 20 million XP there, which is a nice achievement. The only other one we have is uh, Constitution, which is now, well, pretty much 28 mil, which is crazy. Um, yeah, not too far into 107 Constitution, but yeah, that's the second one, which is 20 mil. So just thought I'd record that, a nice little milestone. All right, so we just got a double dragon longsword drop, which is pretty good. I don't know how much they're worth now. I mean, okay, 56k, so looking at 112k drop there, so I guess that's not too bad. All right, so the poncho is now level 10. Let's go ahead and grab some XP for this. And uh, also the staff is very close to level 10 as well, only 8.3k away, so that isn't too bad. And that's actually leveled up really fast, actually, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab ourselves, hopefully, level 57, if I'm lucky. There's the XP. Awesome. Level 57. That's what I wanted. And how much XP until level 58? 177k. So with the next load of XP from the staff, I'll probably just get maybe level 59 if I'm lucky. 
So like I said, once I got level 10, I was going to go ahead and sell the palm tree seeds, so I have sold those there. And I also decided to sell a bunch of other seeds as well. The only ones which haven't sold yet is the watermelons, but that's fine. Um, that's only worth, yeah, around 200k, so that's not a big deal. And uh, also I sold the flakes because I'm not too sure how long, you know, they're going to be a higher price for because a lot more people now, like I said earlier, are getting 99s every single day, so... I'm going to try and sell them sort of whenever I do get a nice amount and as you can see there I have 12 and a half thousand of them so from those we got 9.7 mil that is lovely uh, from the palm tree seeds we got 1.6 mil from the tour stools we got 24k magic seeds 630k and the lantadime seeds are 53k so not too bad, and obviously, like I said, the 200k on those as well. I do, of course, still have all of the other loot as well, which is this stuff here, which I haven't sold yet, so this should add up to a nice amount as well. Okay, so we got another level 10. It is the staff, like I told you guys earlier. We are fairly close, and, uh, well, we have it now, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves the XP from that, the beautiful XP, hand it over 540k, and there we go, level 59. That is awesome. I kind of want to get it to level 60 now. 202k, right, that's not happening. Uh, the next thing I have closest, I presume, is the leggings, level 7. And an update on the poncho, that is currently at level 4. But for right now, that is all the invention I want to do. There may be some more towards the end of the video, I'm not too sure right now. Uh, but I do want to go and do some hunter. After doing that in the last episode, I just really want to go and get level 70, because it didn't take long at all to get level 69. Uh, granted, I only had 14k XP, but I have 43k now and 122k bonus XP, so it shouldn't really take too long or too much longer than in the last video. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm not going to be using the protein traps because I am saving them for double XP weekend, um, but I'll go get some traps now and hopefully it won't take too long. Just an update as well, in terms of profit made, um, I have just got another pretty much 1.9 mil from the Ganodermic Flakes that I got li literally in that short training time since I saw you last time with the price check, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. People are always asking me how I make my money. That's like the top question. I swear that I get asked. How'd you get your money? Where'd you get it from? Stuff like that. And honestly, it's just doing stuff like this. You know, taking advantage of the opportunities, whether it be with bonds or high flipping items, stuff like that. If I see an opportunity or I get told about one, I'm taking it because, you know, I need the money for the higher skills now. Um, granted, I don't have any Bibles left, really. Um, I don't mean Bibles, you know what I mean. I mean like herb or prayer. The expensive ones, summoning, stuff like that. Um, the rest of them can be done fairly cheap, you know, without it taking too long, so... All right, just going through my dailies real quick. I may do a couple of these before I do Hunter. I've just got my box traps ready and stuff like that, so I'm ready to go. Um, but I was hoping that I might have a fletching one, which was kind of like, you know, you can bulk them up. But no, I just got the Elder Shortbow, so I'm going to have to do it at the bank and just keep doing that. It shouldn't take too long, only 336, which I guess sounds like a lot. But yeah, it should be all right. And obviously, because I'm going towards 99 on Double XP Weekend, it's just going to help out, really. And we have 29k bonus XP anyway, so anything is going to help. But apart from that, we do have a cooking one, a crafting one, thieving, and rune crafting. So all ones which are going to be pretty useful for me. Okay, this one here should get me level 70. There we go. Very nice. A little milestone there. And uh, now we only have two skills under level 70, which is, of course, farming and uh, invention as well. But yeah, just doing this for now, it really isn't taking too long. I have brought some of my fletching materials um, just to do, you know, whilst I'm waiting for traps to go. Um, but honestly, I haven't exactly had much time to do it, as you can see there. Only 300 made so far, so been pretty busy. Obviously, it's not really AFK either, but it's going pretty quickly, and also I'm getting the agility XP as well, so I can't really complain too much about it. Alright guys, welcome back. So in a minute, I'll go ahead and grab myself another 540k XP and in invention because we have just got level 10 on our Gano leggings, which is awesome. But I may wait it out because the staff is also really close. If we go and have a look real quick, I will just see how close it is because otherwise I'll just do it now. Uh, quickly bank and then come back again. Oh, okay, it's not that close. We still have 8.1k until that's level 10, but... It shouldn't take too long, um, so I may just stay here and get that up and then just grab 
the XP from both of them and then start them off at the same time. Uh, so then every time they get level 10, I'll be able to grab a mill at a time as opposed to 540k. So that should be quite nice to do. Okay, so we now have the staff at level 10 as well, which is pretty cool. It means I can get two items now as opposed to the one. I did go ahead and grab myself some more leggings because there was no point training with level 10s. So I went and augmented another pair. So these ones here are uh, of course level 10s and the other ones are new ones, which I believe are around level four now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, now we have these staff as well. So I did uh, bring an augmented staff to, you know, just to have as well, uh, just to train with. I do want to move from this location, but I just thought I would bring it anyway, because I believe the poncho is level 9 as well. If we go and check this real quick, the poncho is level 9, only 7.2k from level 10. So that won't take too long either, but yeah, the other two are pretty much new. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some XP by augmenting these two here. Uh, there we go, 540k, and cool, that is level 61, and then we have this other one as well, of course, which is another 540k, and that is going to give us level 63, so there we go. I hit the milestone for the video, which was level 60, and I'm really happy with that, so that is pretty much it, guys, for this video. For right now, I will probably end up getting my um, poncho to level 10, and then I'll put that in the next video, and I'm also going to go do some dailies, stuff like this, and jack of trades, stuff like that, pretty much. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. That is a random level up there, but there we go. Hope you had an awesome day, and uh, have enjoyed this video. If you have, like always, check it a massive thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.